Okay, here are a few of my favorites uh, movies and TV shows. Or favorite? Favorites? Here are a few of my favorite movies and TV shows. <laughs> Young Frankenstein, Princess Bride. I was raised with those two. Like, it was like religion in my house that everyone was quoting Young Frankenstein and the Princess Bride before I even knew what it was. So someone would say, Flabroca! And everyone else would go, nah! <laughs> And I had no idea until I watched the movie. Um, and so, it's like childhood faves. I love the Lord of the Rings series. I've always loved them. My grandmother was a huge fan and forced me to watch them when I was way too young. Like I was like nine and in the hospital by myself um, and had nightmares about orcs for months. But then once I got all over that, I love the adventure of it all. I've always been a, a, a fantasy nerd because it makes me feel like there's something bigger and awesome and I like have all of the theme songs memorized and listen to the film scores of Lord of the Rings all the time. I love Dune. I also love sci-fi. Um, I love the original Star Trek. <laughs> My dad was a big fan of that and got me into it. Okay, Quentin Tarantino, one of my favorites of all time. And then when someone asks me to try and choose my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie, I actually like get sweaty palms. Like I'm, I'm, I'm actually starting to like clam up. Kill Bill, Volume Two. Please don't hate me. Anyone who's a Quentin Tarantino fan, please don't be like, you know, judge me because this is really hard for me. Pulp Fiction, Inglorious Bastards. Oh, and then I love Dusk to Dawn. Very many people haven't seen that, and it's really cool. It's like this vampire one that Quentin Tarantino was actually in. Um, he didn't direct it, but he did write the screenplay for it. Anyway, really cool movie, side note. Favorite movie of the year, and actually of maybe the past like, few years, is Mad Max Fury Road. It's incredible, and I wasn't expecting much from it, because my dad was like, oh, let's go see it. And I thought it was like one of those like Fast and Furious movies, which I'm not a huge fan of. Sorry, don't want to find a new one. Um, but anyway, I went and it's insane and it's so good and just beautiful to watch. So go watch Mad Max if you ever get a chance to. Classics, I love Forrest Gump. I actually used to watch it like on replay in the hospital and I'd get really sad and like cry a lot. Proud moments. Oh, X-Men, I love X-Men. Um, always loved X-Men. I really enjoy the newer X-Men's too because I totally have a thing for James McAvoy. Um, and Michael Fassbender actually now that I'm thinking about it. Slumdog Millionaire was a good one for me. Okay, Little Miss Sunshine was one of my favorites for a very long time. Still kind of is. My mom made me watch that too. Again when I was too young. I'm kind of feeling a recurring theme of family members forcing me to watch movies that I was not emotionally ready to handle. TV shows, I'm crazy about Sherlock and Bob's Burgers. Um, I'm now kind of getting out of my Sherlock phase, but I still, you know, still have like a place in my heart for Sherlock. I love Bob's Burgers, like all time favorite. Character I most relate with, I want to say Tina, but it's more like Louise. I'm way more of a Louise than I am a Tina, which is disappointing to me because Tina's the best, but I'm too evil to be Tina. <laughs> Another really good TV show that I feel like doesn't get enough appreciation is Avatar, The Last Airbender, which is really, it's cool because it's super respectful of a lot of different Buddhist and Asian traditions and cultures, while also being like really funny and, and Americanized in a way that we can like accept it. But I, I actually remember getting like tons of wisdom from Avatar. Okay, so I have a serious obsession and it's, it's borderline on, kind of weird. It's kind of one of those things that I don't actually really talk about that much because it's weird. It's not a cool obsession with decorating shows on the home <laughs> network, like the HGTV. Like it's, it's bad. And I used to watch them for days on end when I was in the hospital. And then I would see something on the decorating shows that I needed to do in my room. And it would be like a, it would be like a, an obsession. And when I was 13, I got to do make a wish and all of that. Cause like, you know, all the sick kids get the make a wish perks. And I asked to have a room makeover done by someone who worked for HGTV. And it was probably like, the best day of my life when I came back and I got to like talk to the person designing my room about like what I wanted and all that and then I got to see what they did and oh I had like a heart attack. I, I love them so much. I don't know why. Ch uh, Food Network Channel 2. Oh my god that was the best. I would sit there eating disgusting hospital food and watching people cooking gourmet yumminess on the channel and just pretend like I was eating what they were cooking and it made the hospital food taste so much better. <laughs> really the only way I can get through. But don't ever watch Food Network without having something to eat or you will gnaw off your entire arm. All right, 
hope you all enjoyed. Give me some of your favorites, movies and TV shows down there, and I can judge you. <laughs> Or not, or we can become buddies and like go see Quentin Tarantino movies together. That'd be cool. But you know. <laughs>